Oh god. I'm scared. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh wow, I survived. Just a little bit of slowness and nausea. I think I'm gonna stay up here and, you know, put it in peaceful. What's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today it's gonna be a mod update on the Much More Spiders mod. And you guys might remember this from last time, I died a lot from spiders. And if you clicked on this video kind of hoping I would die, it's probably going to happen again, guys. They updated this, and if you thought the spiders were strong before, now they're crazy. There's even mutant spiders that are like the size of this place. It's awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. And today we're going to test them all out and see what happens. Let's try to survive this. So first up, we're checking out the house spider, and yeah, I'm starting with the weak stuff and wants it actually help you. So this guy right here, I can actually ride on him, and it's pretty cool how it works. So the house spider, he's got 50 health. You can see he's got like a speed buff on him. So all you have to do is right click him, and you can actually like go wherever you want. Let's check it out. How do I look? I'm going kind of slow. And the interesting thing about this is you actually go at the speed they're walking at when you mount them. If they're not walking, then they actually um, they actually won't go anywhere, which is weird. But I can't control it once I'm on him. Let's get off. Let's actually try this. Let me get a dude out. All right. Oh, come! Why would you? Why would you fight each other? Don't get two. Don't get two of these pets. They do put out webs and they do kill stuff. All right, have, have you calmed down? No, come on. Oh my God, my house spider, it's it's dead. It's all right. I'm gonna get on you, my friend. And here we go. I really wanted to show if you get on one that's not actually moving, it kind of just stands there. All right, don't move. Stay right there. So right now, no matter what I do, I cannot control it because it's not moving. But luckily, the spiders, they move around a lot. What if I get a zombie for you? Kill it. Go for it. Look at that. It's putting down webs and stuff too. It's kind of a killing machine. It's going to be very helpful. And as you probably noticed before, they go after absolutely everything. So what I want to do is actually like ride one of these and try to kill some stuff at the same time. So once you start moving, bro, I'm going to ride on you. All right, guys, here we go. And let's try this out. I'm going to spawn a zombie. So let's say you're like out fighting. Look at that. Oh, don't, don't climb right now. Don't do that. So any mobs around you, you can actually control what direction it's going in as I showed before. So I'm going to head over this way. At night, this is going to be awesome because it really kills a lot of stuff. The BB zombie died in one hit. That is so sick. And guys, there's actually two other spiders you can ride on. The house one, it's like a baby. It's the weakest thing you could ride. The other ones are crazy. This is the iron spider. You might remember it from the first part of the review, but this one you can actually ride and it won't kill you, which is awesome. I'll leave the link down below if you want to check out the first part, guys. But this is the iron spider. 280 health. Let's just watch it kill something. Go for it. Look at that. He got wrecked so bad. It's horrible. So once again, he has to actually be kind of like walking around a bit if you want to ride on him. That is so sick. I don't think I could ever get sick of that. So once again, like right now. Oh, he's moving a little bit. All right, here we go. So I can control him and go in any direction I want. Let's turn around here. Let's go back this way. So this dude is a beast. 280 health, much stronger than the house spider. And once again, it's aggressive to everything. So if you have one of these, it's going to keep your home really, really safe. Really safe. It's awesome. We've got one more rideable spider left, and this is the quartz spider. And it's really fast. Like, if you want to go around your world quick, this one's going to be awesome. So let me get the dude out here. That is a quartz spider. He's a little bit smaller. He's got speed on him. It's like a sick speed buff, too. You can kill stuff, right? Go for it. Look at that. Oh my god, just riding on that is so sick. Okay, calm down for a second. Move a little bit, and let's let's go. Let's do this. All right, we're speeding up. This is actually pretty quick. How do we look? So if you want to, like, travel around your world, go through different biomes and stuff, this is going to be a great spider for it. And if you're wondering about, like, going up structures, they don't really climb like a spider, but you can go up, like, one block pretty easily. You just can't climb up a wall. That's the only issue. I can't go up like two blocks at the same time. It'd be nice if they changed it and added that in. Because then going over mountains and stuff in the world would be really useful on a spider like this. It's time to stop messing around, guys. We're on to the gas spider. And I'm ready to fight. And you might have already noticed this. I've got an emerald sword and emerald gear. So one thing this mod added in in the last update is armor. And trust me, you need this. Without this, you're going to die. Diamond gear is not as strong as this emerald set. And the recipes, as you would expect, emeralds like normal. And same thing with the sword too. So if I took off my pants, it's still stronger than diamond. You can see like how much more powerful this is. And against the mutant spiders they added in, without this on, you're going to die in like one hit with diamond gear. I'm serious. It's pretty bad. So the gas one, it's not that awful. It makes a lot of explosions. So I don't want to blow up like every chest. It's just, you know, 
Take a walk over here for a second and spawn this dude in. Let's go for it. It's really big. You're, you're hurting yourself a little bit. Let's kill it. Let's go for it. There we go. Yeah, it shoots a lot of fireballs. And it's so much scarier than a gas because spiders are not meant to be that big. The next one we're onto is the wind spider. It charges into you. It puts slowness on you. And it launches you into the air. I know it sounds really nice, doesn't it? And it actually spawns in the extreme hills. And if you're wondering, like, why some of these don't say where they spawn, all the information isn't out on this. And some of them might not spawn naturally in your world yet. But keep in mind, the mod is a work in progress. And they're updating it like crazy right now. So let's get this one, wind spider. Do your best. They're worse. Whatever you want to do. Oh, God. I'm scared. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. I survived. Just a little bit of slowness and nausea. I think I'm going to stay up here and, you know, put it in peaceful. Luckily for creative mode, we can take this dude out. Oh, my God. His defense is so high. Look at this. He has resistance on. It's really strong. Guys, I didn't show this, but I do have sharpness 10 on my weapon twice. So, oh, where did he go? This is not a good spider to fight, guys. That is scary. So, yeah, this is one you don't want to mess with. And at the moment, all the drops aren't sorted out, but they did add in weapons and stuff, which should be implemented perfectly soon. We'll check them out after. Like, they have all the weapons. They just don't have the drops to actually craft these yet. I got to be honest, guys. I don't even know how I survived that last one. But we're on to the shock spider, and there's a lot of spiders in this mod at this point. I mean, they all have crazy abilities, too. So, I imagine death will come. Let's do it. Okay, you don't look so bad. You just have, like, strength regeneration. And, of course, you know, some resistance, too. Let's go for it. Ten. No? Okay. Ow. Okay, we're on fire. It's not good. It's so tiny. Like, I can't even hit you. Can you, like, slow down for one second? P please. Just please help. Not really. It's so fast. Like, these mobs are so quick. It's really hard to actually kill them. I really want to take this one out. I'm going to be so proud of myself if you die. All right. Can you just stand still for one second? Honestly, what I'd recommend doing is probably getting one of the spiders you can ride that could help you kill these. Because with their help, it's going to be a lot easier. I think we almost got it. I just don't want to die. I'm not going to... Oh. Not to worry, guys. We're getting some revenge now. We've got our health back in. You're going to die. You're so little. It's embarrassing. Don't do that to me again. Die. There we go. Yeah, that is not easy. And this is with, like, insane enchantments. You really do need the Emerald Gear, guys. Without it, you are going to be so dead. Let's see what's next here. So that one was the shock spider. Next one, the mecha spider. You may have seen it. It wasn't in the showcase, but it wasn't a battle. It shoots arrows, snowballs, fireballs. So probably GG for me here. Let's get a little bit further away once again. I'm afraid of the chest. Like, I, I spent time putting those out, guys. Those are beautiful chests with delicious, wonderful gold behind them. And I don't want them to die. All right, might want to avoid that. There's, there's holes everywhere. There's been a lot of bad things have happened so far today. All right, here we go. So the mecha spider. It's got 250. It's, it's got problems. You really might want a bow. Probably. I'm gonna... Hold on. Let's try this. Let me get behind this. Come here. Will it come here and actually go after us? Or is it waiting? Oh my god, it's actually waiting for us. Normally, like a skeleton or something, it would go for you. This guy, no. It actually waits for you. And then fires insanely. It is so annoying. I hate you so much right now. The next one is the witch spider, and you might have seen it in one of the battles, too. It shoots, like, so many potions. It's going to spawn in the swamp. It's like fighting a hundred witches at the same time. Let's go for it. I don't even like witches. This... What can you do about this? Seriously. You need some, like, enchanted golden apples, because that thing is mean. I died so incredibly fast, you probably couldn't even see the witch spider. And now it's moving around. I don't even know where it is. Calm down for one second. So you can see this one actually has a pretty cool texture. So like not all of them are completely done at the moment. I'm just going to kill you. I feel like you should drop and enchant the golden apple. I deserve it after fighting you. If you could kill that thing, you definitely deserve something. But you'll see at the end there actually is a bunch of weapons that are planned for each mob already. And yeah, you really should get some amazing stuff because these things are evil. The next one is the dragon spider. And you're going to find it in the nether. It shoots fire. And actually this one I'm 100% sure... There's something in the water. I think it actually dies. Like, this is one that can't escape. It kind of just doesn't like it. It's a nether mob. It's not surprising. So it actually dies if it's in the water. So what I want to do is go back into survival. Hopefully I don't regret this. And let's see if it jumps out at me. All right, here it comes. They're so quick in this mod. Every single mob goes like a million miles an hour. And you can tell it. It shoots fire. Will I ever get a hit off? All right, there we go. You just sink under the ground. Seriously, if you want to challenge in your world with spiders, this mod is the ultimate spider evil mod. Seriously, I've never seen anything like this before. 
It's like torture to try to kill some of these dudes. It's definitely gonna make it a lot more challenging. Oh, I'm getting hits off. You're gonna die. You're going down, bro. You're getting wrecked. Oh, I'm so happy. Almost. Okay, one more hit. He's hiding behind the fire. Oh, I got him. I actually got him. And you might have noticed he actually did drop something that time. I'm gonna burn to death. He dropped some spider fur. At the moment, it doesn't do anything, but I believe they're gonna add it into some kind of armor or something like that. You guys might be wondering why I actually let the spiders kill me, because I could give myself, like, you know, enchanted golden apples and survive. But I kind of like to show what would happen in a survival situation, and that is pretty much it. I mean, that's going to happen to you. The next one is going to kill us. This was in a battle. It was evil. It killed everything. Never go to the swamp again. It's the miss spider. It's huge, too. It's a big spider. I'm ready to die. Let's go for it. <laughs> Look at that. Seriously. Seriously, they gave you the most ridiculous spiders. So what you might want to do, if you're playing this mod, guys, you probably want to use it with another really overpowered mod that gives you, like, amazing armor and weapons and stuff like that. Because some of these mobs are just that powerful. If you haven't seen the battle, that is the Mist Spider right there. It's got 600 health. Looks pretty cool, too. And it's really, really big. This isn't even a mutant spider. It scares me. So let's see what it can do to a normal spider. It can pretty much kill anything instantly. The effects are that horrible. Where that went down so fast, barely took any damage, too. So this is one spider if you see you want to run away and then like hide for a month. And if you didn't notice it actually did put down some webs. So one other horrible thing that spider does. But now we're on to the mutant spiders. There's four of them. This one is the mutant forest spider. At the moment you can't spawn it in. But a couple of them you actually can. So it summons in minions and has like tons of horrible evil abilities. So to show it. It actually has random health too. I think it was a cool feature. It's got like a random health and also it has like a random attack. So it's going to hit for different amounts of damage each time. This one's pretty weak compared to the others. So I feel like I need like a, a running start. Let's go for this. I hope he can't see me from there. Oh my god, he can. I'm sorry. Ow. 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 Put me down. I see your baby spiders. Seriously, there is no surviving this. There's no better armor. I can't even give it to myself. If Ore Spawn was updated, I would definitely put on some of that armor. But at the moment... Yeah, they probably want to add in some more powerful armor into this mod. It's great for mob battles, though. I'm thinking the spiders should actually drop that fur and definitely give you some very powerful armor. I decided we're not messing around anymore. I enchanted my armor, protection 5, and I'm breaking 5 on everything. So hopefully we'll survive. We, we probably won't even survive. We'll see, though. It should give us a small chance. So you can see it summoned in a bunch of, like, baby spiders. They're really fast. They also have random health. I'm trying to, like, find them. They, like, kind of went all over the area. This dude right here. Come on. Slow down for one second. It's got... Just relax. You've got problems. Seven health on that one. Let's find another one around here. This dude right there, 18. So the spider itself, it's got all kinds of abilities. It tossed me all over the place, too. So what I want to do is actually take, like, a normal mob and just watch it die to it. This might seem mean, but which? Best of luck. Look at that. Look at that. That's so sick. I mean, they are that powerful. The little spiders, they don't do too much damage, but the big one, it kind of just kills everything, as you can see here. The next mutant spider we're onto is the desert one, and it attacks you with sand. You'll see what I mean. It's actually kind of cool. So I'm going to grab these, and we're going to get further away. They actually don't despawn in peaceful. It's not a good sign for us. So let's get over here. Let's get back into survival and see what happens. So my armor, it's much improved. We might have a chance here. So let's get it. It's right there, Mutant Desert Spider. Let's go for it. Oh my god, your sand is so evil and weird. It's Look at it. It's actually like blocks of sand you can kill. They're actually fighting you. I've got slowness and nausea. This is intense. This is so intense. All right, what I'm trying to do is actually hit the normal spider. But because of the slowness, it's really hard to tell where I even am. This is crazy. I, I've never fought anything this annoying before in Minecraft. Let's actually take a look at what happened here. So let's get some milk. The spider is standing right up there. And look at all the minions. There's so many. There's like 20 blocks of sand. Once again, random health. They kind of just like punch you, step up. I don't know what they do. They just roll into you. It's weird. So this one right here, 421 health. Lots and lots of minions. And I imagine like the longer the battle is, the more these crazy blocks of sand will be attacking you. And next up, guys, we're on to the Mutant Witch Spider. It's like the Witch Spider, except it throws even more potions, and it's massive, too. So be careful. But the only way to get one of these is for a Witch Spider to get hit by lightning. That'd be such a horrible occurrence, wouldn't it? All right, let's take this. I need to, like, go down somewhere. It's, it's way too dangerous here, guys. Let's find a brand new area. I finally did it. I gave myself some enchanted golden apples. So I'm going to eat one of these, and we're going to try to survive this. 
So this is a mutant witch spider. It's got that's a lot of health. That's a lot of potions too. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you throwing those above my head? Where are they landing? You might be a little buggy. You are really big. Okay, so as you can see, it's throwing a lot of potions. They're actually landing around here. So good thing I gave myself like all these buffs. It's got so much health. And I believe that's really its only ability. It just shoots tons and tons of potions at you. And eventually, it's, it's probably going to kill you. It's going to take forever to actually take this dude down. And we're finally on to the last spider. This one is going to be the mutant thunder spider. So once again, if a thunder spider gets hit by lightning, it's going to become this monstrosity. So here we go. Oh my god. Land in the water. Land. I'm, I'm okay. Sort of. So it's got 800 health. It's not nice. You want, you want to be friends? You're not even close to me. You're not even close. Put me down. Please, please put me down. All right, so a bow recommended for this one, guys. Not a spider you want to mess with, but seriously, you don't want to mess with any of the spiders in this mod. You have to be really prepared. I know when I first reviewed this mod, there wasn't weapons, and tons of people suggested it, and the mod creator definitely came through with that. But at the moment, they're not craftable, but should be in the mod really soon. So you can see there is a ton of different wands, and each one like represents a different spider. So I imagine you'll get the materials from that spider and be able to craft these. And there's some cool abilities too, guys. And for these, like the emerald ones, not too much to show. Same recipes as you'd expect. And I don't want to like bore anyone by like hoeing some ground and digging a hole. It's pretty much a little bit better than diamond. That's about all you need to know about that. And these right here are crafting materials. Like some of the spiders drop this. We got spider fur. We have some like special tiers and also a swamp ball. At the moment, they don't do anything, but probably will be used to craft some of these different wands. So what we're going to do is grab like one of each. So the thunder wand. I imagine you'll kill the thunder spider and actually get this. So you can see right now with this in my hand, I've got speed and I've got strength three. So I am really, really powerful. So I guess I'm going to do it. Let's go for it. Let's smack this dude. Gets lit on fire automatically from a normal hit. And I believe if I right click, it shoots a snowball, which I guess does lightning. That's, that's so sick. Look at that. It shoots a snowball, does lightning, and I think it's got night vision on him now, which is weird. Kind of cool though. I mean, there's a lot of very interesting wands in the mod. And now we're checking out the wither wand right here. So this one in my hand, I get jump boost. So I can jump around like a beast. As you can see, I'm in creative, but it doesn't matter. I can jump much higher than normal. And let's try it out. So I'm going to smack the spider. This is going to be the easiest way to test everything. So it puts the wither effect on it automatically. And let's try to right click here. Look, a wither skeleton skull. Look at that. Tons of damage. It doesn't actually give the wither effect from that. I think it's the blue skull that does. But as you can see, another really cool wand. Like, each one is going to be very helpful fighting pretty much any mobs. So now we're on to the ice wand. And let's see what it does here. So we've got speed 3. So I could run around like a freaking beast. It's going to be helpful because the spiders, they all can run this quick. I should be able to run this fast too. Let's hit another one here. So this one gets slowness. Oh, that's a good advantage because some of these are so quick, you can actually slow them down with this wand. And if I right click, it does a snowball and then kind of puts some ice on the ground. Kind of cool. I like that. For the forest wand, if you have it in your hand, it doesn't give you any special abilities. Probably because the forest spider is like the weakest one in the entire mod. So I'm going to hit you with it. You might like it too much. You are a mutant forest spider. Let's see. It doesn't do anything special. If I right click, it puts down a web. It does a little damage and puts down a web. I guess like every single one actually like shoots a snowball at the same time. The nether wand is actually going to give you fire resistance. So you can go around the nether and just beast mode these spiders. All right, guys, I'm going to try it on you. Dude, don't fall off the edge. Don't fall off the edge. Lights them on fire, as you'd expect. And this one, it shoots out like a little flame. Look at that. You can see it, and also lights them on fire, too. And now we're on to the water wand. And this one gives you water breathing, as you can see right there. And let's try this again. I'm going to go for it, spider. All right, so it puts down water. This is like the messiest wand ever. But if you want to make a pool, let's say you want a moat or a pool, it's going to be awesome. Other than that, you probably don't want to attack like that. And I believe it gives slowness to your enemy, too. But I don't want to, like, right-click and put water, like, around the entire area. It's going to be really annoying to clean up. And now we're on to the Mist Wand. And this one is amazing. It gives you Regeneration and Resistance 3. It makes sense, though, because the Mist Spider, as you saw, is huge and really powerful. If you kill it, you kind of deserve to be able to get this. So as you can see, like, every single one of these is going to be, like, a drop off these mobs somehow. I don't know if it's going to be the wand itself or crafting materials for it. So let's try this. It looks upset. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm just going to punch you with it. So he gets lit on fire. If I right click. Oh, look at that. It's all the effects the Mist Spider gives. Oh my god. Nothing is going to survive this one. The next one we're onto is really cool. It's the Torch Wand. You're going to notice you have night vision so you can see everything. And if you're playing with a friend or something, you can actually put torches up for them too. 
or if you just want mobs not to spawn. So if I right click, it actually puts a torch down. That is so sick. So going through caves and stuff, this one's going to be really useful. It's probably not too surprising. If I smack with this, it lights an enemy on fire. I feel like almost every wand does that. And even if I shoot it at him, it's, it makes sense. It's a torch. The torch actually falls on the ground and lights him on fire. The next one I've got, guys, is the iron wand. And as you can see, I am running around like a beast once again. So there's a couple that make you go really quick. So I've got speed and strength three. So the spider is going to feel this. Look at that. It launched him straight into the air. And if I right click, it actually spawns in an iron golem. That's cool. I mean, you can get like tons of iron golems like protecting your home. The thing is, in this mod, iron golems are probably going to go down pretty quick. But luckily, you can just beast them and spawn in like 100 if you want to. It does use durability, but I'll show you guys in a second. The spiders are so dangerous, I had to go somewhere safe. And what I did is I spawned in a bunch. I used some of the durability, but you can see there's a lot of iron golems out here. And it doesn't use too much when I spawn them in. So I'm guessing you could probably get in like 50 or so from this wand before it runs out of durability. And now we're on to the hell wand. You're going to notice fire resistance once again. So in the nether, you'll be very happy. And check this out, guys. Of course, it lights them on fire. But not only that, if you shoot it, it puts down lava. And it doesn't, like, drip down. It's weird. I can actually, like, go underneath this. I'm afraid to, though. It's kind of cool. So I can put down lava all over the place if I want to. Just be very careful. At least you have fire resistance. You can kind of just walk through it after. And now we're on to the last one. This is the swamp wand. Sadly, like, no special effects. But it's still pretty cool. Check this out. I'm going to smack you, bro. I'm sorry about it. He's got nausea. I don't know how much that actually, like, affects a spider, but I'm sorry about it. And if I right-click... Oh, he dodged it. Like, he knew it was coming, too. Come back here. Where are you going? Oh, God, it's fighting, like, the sand spider over there. Let me get a brand new one. All right, let's get him out again. Do not run in that direction. Let's go for it. So he's got slowness, weakness, nausea, and hunger. That's got to be bad. And if you're playing with a friend or something, you could really, like, troll them with something like this. They'll have no idea what happened. But yeah, guys, that is about all there is to show in this update. There's tons more spiders. Some of them are extremely powerful and some really cool wands, too. If you want to check this one out, the download, as always, is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.